All right. Deontay Wilder. <laughs> Snapping on Tyson Fury again, man. It seems like the lead up to this Deontay Wilder fight with, with Luis Ortiz coming up in less than a month is just going to be littered with a bunch of clout chasing and clout chasing by Fury, Tyson Fury and responses by Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder says Deont- that predicts that Tyson Fury is going to fake an injury to get out of their uh, out of their rematch that's supposed to be scheduled for February 29th. Let's talk about that and some other things that that uh, Tyson Fury said in this video. All right. Welcome back to the channel, subscribers. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. Also, I want to say thank you so much to the Patreons. Go check out the new upload for the Patreon today and comment. Really appreciate your support. Would really love your your comments there as well. Also, thank you so much to the people that are members of the or come to the live streams Monday through Friday and OG Boxing Talk on Sunday morning with myself, Blood Boxing, Trap House Boxing, KQKC, and Curtis Anderson, where we wrap up the week of boxing. Okay, Deontay Wilder is saying that Tyson Fury is going to fake an injury uh, during this WWE thing so he doesn't have to get back in the ring. And I, you know, I don't doubt it at all. But the one thing that I want to the thing that I want to focus in on this on this uh, video is why I think that that's the case. Why be the case? Because Tyson Fury, everything, almost everything about Tyson Fury is fake. This guy has fake belts, fake fans, fake belts, fake fans. He's going to fight in a in a fake sport, right? An entertainment, uh, an entertainment. Uh, basically a physical play imitating a sport. The guy is talking about imaginary amounts of money he's making for going to that imaginary sport. He's talking about how he's going to go to the WWE. Like he's going to go to the, after the WWE, he's going to train for the MMA. Just stop it, man. Imaginary, imaginary wins, imaginary American fans. The guy sold 3,500 tickets in a Vegas fight. In an arena that had 20,000 people in it. But he says that he is more, he has more fans in the United States than Deontay Wilder does. Look, man, I really, really, really wish that something wasn't, that something isn't fake. That Tyson Fury is going to actually retire within three fights. Please go away. Please go away. Tyson Fury has been like, for me, Tyson Fury has been out of the frying pan and into the fire with this nonsense at the heavyweight division, with all of this crap being talked about. It started with Deontay Wilder, but it's just this whole facade that's being that's being put up. The facade, the original facade was the Anthony Joshua facade, but the Anthony Joshua facade was only partially a facade. He really was, really does had, did have a tremendous fan base in the UK. You could look at the fights. You could look at the fights on TV, on television. It was on Showtime originally. You could see that there were thousands and thousands and thousands of fans in Wembley Stadium in O2 Arena. You could hear them singing Sweet Caroline and, and, and fireworks with AJ all around it. You could see all of that. You could you would know generally uh, approximately how many pay-per-views he was selling. You could actually put your finger on how much money he was generating, how much money he generated in the fight with Vladimir Klitschko, in the unification fight with with um, Joseph Parker. You could put your finger on that with Tyson Fury. That was the front, but there was a lot of facade around it, like. He's the greatest. He's the biggest fighter in the world. He has more fans in the United States than Deontay Wilder has. You know, Deontay Wilder doesn't deserve a fight with him because AJ's done so much more in 22 fights than a- all of that type of stuff. All of that facade, all of that media, that media echo chamber stuff was flying all over the place. So me personally, 
I didn't have an issue with the people with what was being said about about him, about Anthony Joshua in the UK because you could tell that that was true. Those were objective facts. Now, not everybody in the, in the UK loved AJ, right? Not everybody was like, you know, like he's just taking over the world in the UK. That's, but he had a huge fan base in the UK and you had, and it was actually true. That was the fire. That was the frying pan for me. Like, I know this guy's popular. I know he's a good fighter, but I'm really getting tired of people acting like Deontay Wilder hasn't done anything in his career. Nobody over here in the United States knows him. All of that. He's only sold 5,000 tickets. Dude, Eddie Hearn would say Deontay Wilder sold 6,000 tickets for every fight. Dead on 6,000. I stop it. But Tyson Fury, the nonsense going on around Tyson Fury is so fake it's so paper thin. It's such a facade that it that it boggles the mind. Tyson Fury does not hold a championship belt. Not one. When people say that he's the number one heavyweight, that is nothing but smoke. Nothing but smoke. When they said he's the lineal champion, that's not true. That's nothing but smoke. Even on the even on the websites that are the most official website that they have for the lineal championship, which is Cyberzone Boxing, they have the vacant title vacant since 2016. They have Tyson Fury as the last lineal champion, but not the lineal champion now because of retirement. I'd say I don't even care. I disagree with him because I disagree with Cyberzone Boxing because. There was never a point in time when Vladimir Klitschko should have been the been been the uh, lineal champion. Regardless, though, I'm not going to get that into that in this video. But that's something else is phony. Now Tyson Fury is saying that he's got 3,500 that 3,500 people showing up to a fight with Otto Wallen. Somehow now he's got more fans in the United States than a guy that does a million people watching him watching him fight every fight. It's just a bunch of imaginary nonsense. You even had, you had people giving him uh, credit for beating Deontay Wilder, even though the official scorecard is a draw. Then the dude got knocked down two, I believe, three times in that fight. It's just everything that was phony about AJ just got duplicated and magnified unsuccessfully for Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury, if you're such the... If you are so, you are so popular in the United States, why doesn't anybody want to go to your fights? Tyson Fury, we don't even know how many people watch Tyson Fury fights because Tyson Fury fought on ESPN Plus. You know regular ESPN, which we, which is which everybody who has who has a cable package has in the United States. These guys are doing doing 700, 600, 700,000 views on fights on ESPN. You're not going to get half of that on, on watching your fights on ESPN Plus, and that's where he's fighting. Where, how, where's the proof of all of these? Where's the tangible proof of all of these fans? You have Google, you had, uh, I can't believe who it was, it's Google, or somebody was put out a list of the, you know, the most popular athletes in the world. Deontay Wilder was the number third most famous boxer, the number three. Most famous boxer in the world. Tyson Fury was like 20 notches down below that. What changed? The word that I want to focus on for De for what Tyson Fe what uh, Deontay Wilder said about he thinks that, it, it, that, that Tyson Fury is going to fake an injury. I think that that is absolutely reasonable. He faked a renegotiation for a contract with Deontay Wilder. Right, he, he was supposed to sign with Deontay Wilder. He was about to sign the deal with Deontay Wilder. He faked that and signed with Top Rank. Man, there is Anthony Joshua again. Man, Tyson Fury, I do believe, is at least a, is a better fighter than Deontay than Tyson Fury. But even a lot of Tyson Fury's antics in the ring are fake. A lot of jiggling, a lot of jiggling of his of his belly fat, a lot of hands sticking his tongue out. And, uh, uh, now, that's people trying to trying to convince and gain people into scoring that in fights. Now, the one true thing about Tyson Fury is that he's a dangerous fight for anybody. He really is a top-notch world-class heavyweight heavyweight. 
but he's not a champion. He doesn't have any major degree of popularity in the United States. Certainly not that equal of Deontay Wilder. And I wouldn't doubt at all that he will fake his way out of this fight because he also has a real gash over his eye that big, right? <laughs> he also has a gash over his eye that big. And I wouldn't be surprised if that reopened on accident. Anyway, I'm really tired of Tyson Fury. Now, Deontay Wilder, on the other hand, man, I'm glad to see that, Bar that uh, Blue Blood is in the training camp, went to training camp with uh, with Deontay Wilder, that he's working hard, that he's focused on this Luis Ortiz fight. I hope that he's 100% because Luis ain't nothing fake about Luis Ortiz. That's going to be a tough fight. And ain't nothing promised coming out of coming out of that fight either. So let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.